and the second keyword that you must remember for exams is it is a dominant negative mechanism at play i'm putting a star here potential mcq point let us come to etiopathogenesis now etiopathogenesis is a bit complicated first we'll try to see what nelson and various other standard textbooks say inheritance wise it is a sporadic autosomal dominant condition autosomal dominant means it is present on the autosomes it is the gene is present on chromosome 1 dominant means it is the dominant uh, if even if one of the gene is mutated it is enough to produce clinical manifestations but it is not inherited it is not passed on to the progeny most of these children they have a short life span and the gene is not transferred to their babies it is a sporadic autosomal dominant why it happens why this mutation happens we do not know but wherever it happens it behaves like a autosomal dominant condition so it is called as a sporadic autosomal dominant and the second keyword that you must remember for exams is it is a dominant negative mechanism at play i'm putting a star here potential mcq point what is a dominant negative dominant negative means the absence of normal protein is not responsible for the disease it's the abnormal protein which is getting formed which is affecting the functioning of the normal protein it's like there is a chaos making student in the class who will not read himself also and he will not let the other students read also that mechanism is called as dominant negative right so it is a dominant negative mechanism it will become more clear as we talk in details about the pathogenesis the gene for this is present on chromosome 1q and the gene name is lmna lmna codes for nuclear lamin proteins lamin a and lamin c among them lamin a is more important in humans the mechanism of this disorder is activation of an alternative internal splice site that causes deletion of 150 base pairs in 3 dash end of exon 11 in the lmna gene technical tricky yes i'll try to simplify it what happens is there is a splicing site which is normally inactive or not very prominent in normal individuals in patients with progeria this splicing site this splicing mechanism becomes overly active and when it becomes overly active during the process of translation that is mrna formation it causes deletion of 150 base pairs and it interferes with the normal functioning of the lma normal translation of the lmna gene 90% cases it occurs due to a single cytosine to thymidine transition at nucleotide 1824 at in 10% cases there is a single base mutation in the intron 11 splice donor site subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from preplada